All right, guys, let me tell you about our new project we got coming in here. Uh, we've got a 94 Chevy uh, TBI 350 four-wheel drive uh, coming in here to get stripped. We're pulling, uh, we'll, we're pulling the, the motor, the transmission, the transfer case, both drive lines, possibly the rear axle, all the harness, computer, uh, battery, as much stuff as I can salvage for the real project. This is the donor and the donor is coming in first. Um, I'm going to strip everything out of it that I need, put it on the trailer, take it back over to my client's house here uh, a few miles away and then we're going to pick up the actual project. And uh, I can't tell you too much about it. I want you guys to stay tuned. Uh, and we should have that project and we'll have a whole introduction to the project and the outline uh, that I've written up already about uh, what we're doing, what the plans are, uh, you know, what the overall style of, of the truck's going to be. It is, it is a truck, um, but it's not one that you see every day on the road. This is, uh, this is something a little bit unusual, something a little bit different, um, something really cool. So uh, stay tuned and uh, keep an eye out for that video. I should, uh, I should have the, the 94 teardown here video in a few days. Uh, and then we'll start uh, we'll start getting getting everything torn down, loaded up, take it back, and then we can start tearing into the actual project. We got to pull the motor out of that. It's got a straight six in it. I'm not going to tell you too much more than that. Straight six and a four speed. Uh, we're going to yank that out. We're going to put this TBI 350 in there with a T56 six speed or. Uh, AX15 five speed with an adapter uh, to the 350. I'm not sure yet. Um, not big. We're not planning big horsepower goals with this motor. Um, basically, just uh, just the bone stock crate 350 that has about 10,000 miles on it. Uh, my client here put this in his truck, uh, and shortly afterward was uh, rear-ended. The truck was uh, uh, no good. So. Uh, he doesn't want the crate motor to just sit there and rot away, so we're going we're gonna to put it to use. And we're going to make an old carbureted uh, straight six. We're going to yank that out, put modern fuel injection, modern wire harness. Uh, we're going to put uh, uh, power door locks, power windows, RFID push button start. We're going to do uh, updated rear axle, up, all the drivetrains getting updated. We're going to box some frame. We're going to fab up some cross member. Uh, uh, probably have to shorten the drive shaft, which I'll have done professionally. I won't do that myself. Um, and we're going to make a really cool, we're going to do some suspension work. Um, we're going to make a really cool street rod. And uh, that's as far, you know, it's a, it's a driver. It's not going to be a, a show car. It's not going to be a uh, garage queen, uh, trailer queen. It's going to be uh, driven. And that's the goal of this project is to drive it. So I'm not going to tell you any more. Um, I've already let a little too much out of the bag with our plans, but uh, that's that's the basics. That's as much as I can tell you right now. And I'm sitting here waiting for my client to pull up. Should be any minute now, uh, and we can take a look at that 94. Stay tuned. Thanks. All right, guys. Here we go. Project. I, I can't. I can't give it a name yet. I'm sorry. The project is underway. I got the donor vehicle here. Uh, doesn't look like much. I'm going to show it to you briefly right now, but uh, tomorrow I'll do a full walk around and explain exactly what we're going to do with this project, uh, uh, with this donor vehicle. We're going to uh, we're going to use a lot of it, but we're not going to use the whole thing. But we're going to we're going to pick and choose what we use out of it. But here it is. Here's a quick shot of the lovely donor that uh, that is so kind to give itself to some awesomeness that's coming very soon. So here you go. First glimpse of this awesome donor. Probably hard to see there at night. It's got a bow tie on it. Makes it look a little fancy. But there you go. That's... The donor was delivered tonight, and it don't look like much, but that's fine because uh, we have big plans. Alright guys, so here's a quick uh, walk around on the donor project. Uh, 94 Chevy 
350 TBI is really all we're interested in. Uh, the rest of it's going back to the owner for uh, disposal. Um, if I'm looking a little run down today, it's because I've got five hours sleep in the last 50 hours. It's been, it's been a long weekend with work. Um, so now I get to do uh, some fun stuff. So let's uh, take a quick look at this uh, at this Chevy here. Not much to see really. It's got some uh, got some nice go fast billet there. Oop. It's the uh, off road package, although you can tell it's not very off roadable. And you can tell from the uh, the bed separation here that there's been some kind of a problem. And if we look down here at this beat up rocker, I guess the uh, the owner here was telling me that she took quite a lick, got t-boned, and uh, did some pretty extensive damage there. So here is what we're after. Nice new alternator looks like. You can see uh, it's a new motor, crate engine. It's got about 10,000 on it. We're going to remove EGR and all the smog stuff that we don't need. So, not much to see, but we're going to start work here and we're going to get that thing yanked out of there. And I'm going to speed it all up so you don't have to watch me in real time. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. See you later. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is plug this tire. Uh, it's got a, got a nail in it. Only reason I'm plugging it is so I don't have to air this tire back up again when i got to pull it back out of the garage, put it on the trailer, unload it at my client's house, push it around his yard. I don't want to have to deal with a flat tire. So since, uh, since it looks like it's only got one nail in it, hopefully, I'm going to yank that out, put a stick of plug in there, and then save myself uh, hours of frustration. Uh, moving the car around. So uh, here we go. It's right here. We're just gonna stick a simple little worm plug in there. Be good to go.
Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, it's been a long uh, three days for me here. I've had about six hours sleep in the last three days. So I'm going to call it a wrap for today. Uh, we've got a little bit of project progress done on the uh, donor truck here. We uh, shot some video of disassembly. Got started with that and then my awesome new fan was delivered and I got sidetracked doing uh, getting that put up been over 100 degrees and really high humidity today so that became a uh, priority and it's doing, uh, it's doing a good job of keeping this space livable so tomorrow uh, I'm going to hit this hard and heavy and uh, cut out the exhaust get the get the get the tubes out of it uh, drain the radiator get the coolant lines out uh, And get start getting ready to uh, to yank that motor out of there. Hopefully, we'll have that motor pulled out uh, either tomorrow evening or Tuesday. So uh, the motor's gonna be out of there. We're gonna have the new project car in here by the end of the week. Uh, that's the plan. And uh, as long as we stay on track, uh, we should have some great content for you here coming up soon. Thanks.